child, it's your boy, Trey. I see an icon, a showstopper But they not gonna believe me cause I'm just a Julia I just tell them I know wife and a daughter Alright, y'all, it's your boy, Trey, man Today, we're not gonna be using a mic, obviously I don't got one, but um, I hope this sounds good for you guys um, We got Bible Talk episode 19, man Happy New Year, if this is your first time watching me this year Again, Happy New Year, man. Hope this year is so amazing for you guys. But yeah, we're going to be starting in the book of Titus. So we're going to be in um, chapter one of Titus. Um, I'm super excited. Another book by Paul. Paul basically written the entire New Testament, which is so crazy. But I'm super excited. We I finished up 2 Timothy like a day or two ago. And Timothy was beautiful. Such a great book, man. But yeah, um, let me pray us in real quick, then we can read Titus. Um, bow your heads, close your eyes. <laughs> Lord, thank you so much for allowing me to do 19 episodes of Bible Talk, which is so crazy to think about because I legit stopped doing Bible Talk, Lord. So I just want to thank you for, at the end of last year, putting this seed back in my head to just dark Bible talk again is to do it consistently every single week Lord I'm so grateful and thankful for what you're going to do with Bible talk for my channel and what you're going to do with Bible talk for people who don't know you yet Lord so Lord I just want to pray for anybody who's listening right now I pray that what we read in Titus can translate to them and maybe help them out Lord and help them believe you Lord I just pray for anybody right now who's struggling with a sickness you know we're in the cold times right now of the year so lord i just pray for everyone to be healthy right now lord everyone's warm lord so i just pray those things right now amen but um yeah let's read it man we got um chapter one of titus man it says greeting <clears throat> verse one paul a bond servant of god and an apostle of jesus christ according to the faith of god's elect and the acknowledgement of the truth which accords with godliness and hope of eternal life, which God, who cannot lie, promised before time began, but has in due time manifested his word through preaching, which was committed to me according to the commandment of God our Savior, to Titus, a true son in our common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen, amen. So, I like verse 2, it says, In hope of the eternal life, which God, who cannot lie, promised before time began. Like, God promised eternal life to us before we were, before anything existed. God promised us eternal life. That is, do y'all know how amazing that is? Like, all we got to do is have that relationship with God. All we got to do is believe, and it will be. Amen. Amen. Um, it says qualified elders. <clears throat> Verse 5. For this reason I left you in Crete. I hope I said that right. That you should set in order the things that are lacking and appoint elders in every city as I commanded you. If a man is blameless, the husband of one wife having faithful children not accused of disposition, dispatching, yeah, dissipation, yeah, dissipation, or in so in subordination as a steward of God, not self willed. My cat's licking the wall. I remember what I did. I was giving him like a little like if you got a cat, you know the little whoosh whoosh, the little chicken thing, the whoosh whoosh and it comes out. I accidentally slinged it and I guess it went on the wall and he just cleaned it up. Amen. Amen. But uh, I'm sorry, God, that was so bad. Um, verse 7. For a bishop must be blameless as a steward of God, not self-willed, not quick-tempered, not given to wine, not violent, not greedy for money, but hospitable, a lover of what is good, sober-minded, just holy, self-controlled, holding fast the faithful word as he has been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine both to extort and convict those who contradict the elder's task. Um, verse 10, 
For there are many insubordinate, both idle talkers and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert, who subvert whole households, teaching things which they ought not. For the sake of dishonest gain, one of them, a prophet of their own, said, Critons. Critons are always liars, evil beasts, lazy glutens, gut gutlins. Yeah, I'm tweaking. I don't know how to say that. This testimony is true. Therefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men who turn from the truth. To the pure, all things are pure. But to those who are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure, but even their mind and conscience are divine, defiled. They, they profess to know God, but in works they deny him, being abomination, disobedient, and disqualified for every good work. Wow. That's crazy. So, I don't know if I'm going to be correct what I'm thinking right now, but... It sounds like Paul is teaching Titus, I, yeah, because this says to Titus, so Titus has to be a person or a city. Let me just Google this real quick. Google don't be lying sometimes. Let me see. Titus. In the Bible. Who is Titus? He is believed to be a Gentile converted. Okay, so Titus is a person. And it sounds like to me that Paul is, um, I would say, teaching Titus how to run a church and how to have the right people in your church. You know what I mean? That's what it sounds like because he's telling them what an elder should be. Um, so that's interesting to me, what an elder should be and what are the elder's task. So it sounds like Paul is telling um, him how to um, basically I would say like open a church right that's what I, I'm thinking how to open a church let me know down below what y'all think about that because I just looked it up and it said Titus is a person so because it could have been a city even still but so it sounds like Paul is teaching Titus how to set his church up right in my opinion and what's right for an elder and what's not right you know and it's telling you, it's telling you the qualifications for what an elder should be. Well, it's telling you the qualifications for someone to become an elder. Look, y'all, I'm cooking, I think. I think I'm doing decent. But um, let me know what y'all, um, let me know what y'all think about that down below, man. Let me pray us out real quick. Dear Lord, thank you so much for allowing me to read the first chapter of Titus. Lord, I pray that we can talk about this. And I'll get a better understanding of what Paul is saying to Titus, Lord. Because I, I need a little bit more help to understand. But Lord, right now, I just want to pray for anybody, Lord, that's struggling. Um, just in the faith, Lord, I pray that they can continue to seek you. Like me, Lord, I pray that I can continue to seek you, Lord. And just try to continue to do better and just fight those everyday struggles, Lord. I just pray those things right now, Lord. I just pray for anybody who lost a loved one during these holiday times or who was missing a loved one during these holiday times, Lord. I just pray that you give them the most comfort that they can feel, Lord. So let's pray those things right now. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you guys so much if you made it this far into Bible Talk episode 19. Hit that like and sub button. I'm going to see y'all in episode 20.